Hello, and welcome to this Access Affiliates tutorial on using banners and links. Well, here in my account, I'm going to go to Promotion, Banners and Links. So this is where you will find all of the links and image banners that we have available at any time. And you can imagine that if we have three or four or five hundred um, possible images and banners in this system, it's going to be a long, long list. <laughs> so you're going to need some ways to filter that to get to the banners or the link that you would like. And this is what this section is about. This is like a big filtering search tool. So let's just go through these quickly and I'll show you a couple of things that might be most useful. You can filter by campaigns. Now Access Affiliates has two main campaigns, Creative Edge of Consciousness, um, which holds about four or five products and the standard campaign which has all of the others. So it may be useful, just good to know that it's there. We'll talk about channels in another tutorial. You can filter by target URL. So if you actually know the destination URL of the product, you can filter by that. You can filter by banner types. So mainly we have link and image banners at the moment. So the way to use this is that we'll select that we only want to see links and I'm going to click here to apply that and when I scroll down to my list of banners you'll see that there's no images there these are only the the links and if we do that the other way around and select image banners and apply then we're presented with banners that have images so that's cool You can also filter by banner size and while not so useful by itself, if you had image banner selected and a certain banner size and applied that, you would only get banners that meet that criteria. So the thing to know about that is that all of these can work in combination. You don't have to select just one. One of the things that's really useful about this area is this, that you can add a custom filter field. And what I recommend you do is add a name field. Now note it defaults to is equal. So let's test that so that we can see what will work. So if I, I have a product in here called test for affiliate sale. So I know that that's the exact name. It's equal. So let's apply that. Have a quick look and we'll see that there's the image and the link banner and a QR code. So that works. But if I made a typo like that and applied it, it won't find anything because I'm asking it to be exactly equal to what I'm typing there. So a way that'll give you a bit more scope in finding banners using this is to make that is like. So that is a way of filtering so a word could be included in a title. So let's now apply that and you'll see that it finds my two banners. And if I was to reduce that down to just test then it would show me all of the banners that begin with the word test. So this is useful and I would recommend that you work quite a lot with this because it's likely that you'll know the name of the product that you're working with. And you can also use this in combination with these other filters to create the results and make it easier for you to find the banners that you require.